Welcome to Waiting for the One Grace Podcast, scriptures from New Living Translation Bible. The first scripture of the day is Psalm 18, 9 to 10. He opened the heavens and came down Dark storm clouds were beneath his feet, mounted on a mighty angelic beam. He flew, soaring on the wings of the wind. The next scripture is Matthew ten thirty-seven to 42. If you love your father or mother more than you love me, you are not worthy of being mine. Or if you love your son or daughter more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, you will find it. Anyone who receives you receives me. And anyone who receives me receives the Father who sent me. If you receive a prophet as one who speaks for God, you will be given the same reward as a prophet. And if you receive righteous people because of their righteousness, you will be given a reward like theirs. And if you give even a cup of cold water to one of the least of my followers, you will surely be rewarded. The next scripture is John 12. 23 to 28, Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to be my disciple must follow me because my servants must be where I am and the Father will honor anyone who serves me. Now my soul is deeply troubled. Should I pray? Father, save me from this hour. But this is the very reason I came. Father, bring glory to your name. The next scripture is 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty-eight. So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do 
for the Lord is ever useless. The next scripture is 2 Timothy 1, 13 to 14. Hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you learn from me. A pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus. Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. The next scripture is 2 Timothy 4, 17 to 18. But the Lord stood with me and gave me strength so that I might preach the good news in its entirety for all the Gentiles to hear. And he rescued me from certain death. Yes, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil attack and will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. All glory to God forever and ever. Amen. The next scripture is to Peter 3, 8 to 10, and it is the last scripture of the day. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. But the day of the Lord will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will disappear in fire, and the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Psalm 18, 1 to 50, OC, dollar sign, HRR, dollar sign. Star, Matthew, 10, 1 to 42, NC, dollar sign, HRR, dollar sign. Star John 12 1 to 50 NC dollar sign H R R dollar sign 1 Corinthians 15 1 to 58 NC dollar sign H R R dollar sign 2 Timothy 1 1 to 18, NC, dollar sign, H, R, R, dollar sign. 2, Timothy, 4, 1 to 22, NC, dollar sign, H, R, R, dollar sign. 2, Peter, 3, 1 to 18, NC. 
dollar sign, H-R-R -R dollar sign.